Let's install sklearn or sklearn in our Python and Visual Studio code and let's run some sample application using that. So first click on file and click on open folder. And now go to desktop and let's create a new folder and call it skproj, right? And click on select folder. Now here the folder is now empty so click on this plus icon to create a new file and let's call it main.py here we will write some sample code that uses sklearn so i have this code here but down here it is showing select interpreter in your case you might already see a python version selected here but if you are seeing this just click on this and choose a python version that is installed in your system so i'll choose python 3.12 and now click on terminal and click on new terminal and also, if you notice here now, you'll see this warning that says import sklearn could not be resolved because sklearn is not yet installed. So to install sklearn or skkit-learn, you need to type this command pip install enter and now sklearn will be installed. Now while this is installing, it is a good practice to create a virtual environment and install your dependencies in virtual environment because that way you can install project specific dependencies in your work projects. So you, you can install a different version of sklearn in one project and if another project requires an older version, you can install older version for that project. But if you directly do pip install skkit-learn, it will install this globally and the older version will be replaced or you will only have one version of the library for all the projects. So if you want to know how you can install this in virtual environment, click the link in the description below. Finally, sklearn is now installed and as you can see, the errors are also gone. So let's save this file and let's close this by clicking on this delete button and let's click on this button to run this and let's see if it works or not. So now the execution of the file has started and the code has executed and we are now given accuracy of one so this is how you can install skkit learner sklearn and run projects using that if you have any questions let me know in the comments below